top 10 machine learning project you can build on this year with free source code and tutorial on this YouTube channel. So let's get started. So the very first project I am going to suggest to you that is face marks detections. In this pandemic situation, you know, Corona cases is increasing day by day. So you can make a project, it will actually help you to detect the person each wear marks or not. You can also implement this project on your Raspberry Pi to detect the person is wear marks or not. Then you can allow him to come on your room or your office. So there's the first idea you can follow that and this is the first project you need to do it on this year. And the second project is for game automation. So you can automate a game using Python and OpenCV. So in this case, I'm using hill climb racing game. So as you can see here, when I open my finger and it will say gash. When I close my finger, it will say black. So it is a cold project. You can also find the code in my YouTube playlist. I will also uh, put this code link and also the playlist of all the projects in a playlist folder. Then you can also do, go here and you can see all the video line by line. And also you can guard the free source code from his descriptions. In number three, that is so more awesome. Real time object detections. So you don't need to worry about that because I'm using pretend coffee model to actually detect the object from your video. And it should be in real time. You can also do it on your static images. So now you can see here, it did the person, truck, bus, whatever. So you don't need to worry about that. Just you need the coffee model I already uh, put it on my drive link and also the video you can get on the description. So it's so easy to build. So build it, man. In number four, this is so awesome product. Age and gender recognition and also detections. So as you can see here, when actually I put the images of Elon Marks, it will say male and the range of the age you can also implement this project for your final year or your resume you can also use this so this is also for patent cafe model and in this case we are using OpenCV and python in number five this is an awesome project and based on natural language processing and the project name is email as thumb classifier. If you're using email, then you can see here, there should be a spam folder. Inside this spam folder, you can find some spam messages. So how actual email that's been Google actually classified the email as a spam. So it is the natural based project, natural language processing based project. You can also implement by your own. And you can also get the data set for that and you can do all the pre-processing step on that and I will explaining all the things on my video. So please check it out. And this project are actually implemented by using TensorFlow, Keras and OpenCV, not OpenCV, Python. So in number six, this project is based on agricultural plant and the fungus disease classifications so you can make an project that will help you to actually predict your plant is affected by the fungus or not or your leaf that's your cotton leaf so in this case i'm using the cotton leaf data set so you can use this project to actually classify your leaf and also your plant that is infected by the fungus or not and this is the only single video on my YouTube channel. And this video is actually based on PyTorch. You know, PyTorch is developed by Facebook AI Research Lab. And you can also implement this 
because you know PyTorch is so awesome. So please check it out. Okay. So in number seven, you can see here cat and dog prediction ML Android app. So you can make an machine learning based Android apps using Python and also the Android Studio. So in this case, I are using TensorFlow Lite model. So you can actually build a model using Python. Then you can convert this TensorFlow model in TensorFlow Lite. Then you can implement the, your code on your Android Studio and make your code GUI. Not called GUI, it called apps. So you can see here, this is nothing but my splash screen. And this is for the second activity and the third activity. Okay. Or you can say there's are two fragment, nothing else. Just I'm using activity here. So how you now select the images of the cat, it will say predicted output is cat. How you now selected the image of the dog, it will how you click on the predict button. So you can see here predicted output is dog. So you can make any kind of machine learning model using this technique. And please watch the tutorial till end because you know it's so awesome. Okay, you can build Android apps just just one hour. Okay, I think one hour. You need one hour to also train your model and implement this model on also the what do you call also the UI UX part. You can also do it here. Okay, so more awesome uh, cold project. You can also implement this project from a course. And you can also use this project on your review me or your final year. So in number eight, this is the most awesome product. That is Harry Potter Invisible Club. So how can you make you invisible like Harry Potter? If you see the movie of Harry Potter, something Harry Potter invisible him uh, using his clock. So you can make this one from scars. So in this case, you are just using Python and OpenCV. You can see here how I actually uh, put the clock of the red color and it will say invisible. Okay, so cool thing. You can also implement this project from scars. Don't worry, man. I will put this code link and also the video link in a playlist. You can also grab that from here. So cool thing. You can, it's better you do it right now when you see the video, okay? So in number nine, numinar detection from X-ray images. So you can make a detector which actually help you to detect the numinar from your X-ray images. And it is the first project on my YouTube channel I uploaded here. And this is based on deep learning. And this is the first project I, I actually make on my, on my deep learning journey. It's my first project. You can also implement this project from a course don't worry on that. And I'm using, um, what do you call, transfer learning technique actually to build this one. And the, for GUI, I'm using PyQt5 to make this one. And it is the cool project. And this is the first project in my life in deep learning, what do you call, in deep learning life, okay? So you can also implement this project from Scars. Don't worry, I'll be put all the code in the descriptions. You can download it from here. And this project is implemented by Python, Keras, and TensorFlow. And you also use a transfer learning technique and transfer learning model called BZZ16. And you can also BZ90 Inception, uh, okay, B3 and ResNet, whatever you can. In number 10, this is the most interesting video, number, size, recognition, and also the directions. So it is based on TensorFlow Object Detection API. You can build any kind of project using this API. So in this case, just I am using number sign recognition. You can also use any kind of, you can also do the object detections or custom object detection, whatever you can. So in this case, just I'm using number sign. So it is an awesome project, awesome. You can make this project in any kind of objects for your they call it resume or your final year you can make this one and this is the most most awesome video on my playlist okay so don't worry man this is the actual thing and you can also get all the code and the, all the tutorial in my youtube channel so you can also see if you have any problem in your code if you don't understand it so please 
check the video that you can understand the thing very nicely so comment below whose project is more interesting so please do subscribe my channel and must hit the bell icon for never miss an update and give a thumbs up on this video and i will be back with another video thank you and bye bye